Good morning. As you can see, Andy has joined me on this job. So today we're starting a rewire. I'll spin the camera around. I'll show you a little bit because it's bloody boring, isn't it? So first thing we're going to do, we got this off uh, an old job years ago. This was a little temporary board we did. Got to cut the sockets and stuff. Um, RCD. RCD. Mains RCD. Cool. We're going to watch that through the wall, and the new meter cupboard <laughs> is out here. Okay. Um, let me show you that quick. The new meter. You want my key? Yeah. yeah. The new meter cupboard is here. Okay. They've relocated the TT supply and put us a PME in. Okay. Old consumer unit is above the door, okay? It's got a dual tariff, and they've put us a dual tariff meter in because it's still going to have electric radiators in here, okay? So this all goes, okay? We're going to relocate this board within three meters, just about here somewhere, okay? Um, what I'm going to have to do is come through this wall. I'll put the um, heater. It's going to stay here, so we'll have to put this heater in zone of the tails. I'll also cap the tails with a three mil plate, okay? They'll come up here, go into the ceiling. There'll be... Um, I might even put them in some pipe in the seed. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. They're going to have to drop down to this location here, okay? So this is where we're going to wire all our new cables to. This is a kitchen that is going to get fully redone, okay? We have got a living room here, which is going to get fully um, done, okay? They've got a lot of work going on here. I'll quickly run upstairs and show you what's going on up there. They're also doing a loft conversion here. So as you can see, this will, this will be the new hallway and the new stairs will go up there into the loft. This becomes an office. You can see the new partition door here. Bathroom with an electric shower. Uh, sorry, that'd be the shower room. This would be the bathroom, bedroom, and then two bedrooms in the loft, yeah? So, nice job, lot to do. Let's crack on and we will uh, see you in a bit. Right, you guys, but what we're gonna do is start upstairs, so, Loft, it's a big loft. What we're gonna do, because this isn't getting done till like April next year, we're gonna pull a socket um, circuit up there. We're gonna pull a lighting circuit up there. We'll find a place we can come down, probably be in this partition wall, Andy, yeah, in a zone. We'll come down in that zone. Right. And then we're gonna start upstairs. We might even get the look, because they want spotlights everywhere now, okay? Um, so we'll have to, they left it up to me where I want to put the spotlights and switches and stuff, which is good, That's that suits me. Um, but they've got the old wooden, look, they're all wooden patrices in here, and the, it's like a tinned, um, might even be an aluminium, might not it, that? Do you think that's tinned copper or aluminium on the cables in here? Look, look, see it, look, this one. These are like these walls, they're like wafer thin, yeah? These walls, look, look, tinned, it's like a tinned, what was it, Ali? Yeah, it's, it's a three core. Yeah, two nine. I think they call it. Yeah, two nine. Yeah, it's three core. Point two nine. That's a bit of that's a bit of FP in there. <laughs> it's a bit of FP on there, I think. Anyway, yeah. we're going to start at the top and we're going to work our way down. Okay. So if I can get in this loft to get finished today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get finished in this loft today, and then so all the lights will come down and all the sockets will come up and we've got floorboards that we can lift. Yeah. They're tongue and groove, but that's fine. We can we can lift a section up and then fish across to where we got to get to. Andy, you've been doing Saturdays here. Huh? Saturday jobs. Right. You've been doing any Saturday jobs in this village? <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was doing the electric shower. Leave it. I want to get a photo of that. Don't cut it. Leave it. <laughs> I wonder if old John Ward wants his fuse yeah. board. Look for his. For his collection, he got about 300 of these, I reckon, these ones. Yeah, that's the old off-peak, look, I don't know what that is. That did off-peak water, heating, and then the consuming it for the house, look. Um, but yeah, we'll get all this stripped off. And then we're gonna start, as I said, start our stairs today. And um, we'll get, what I do is get it all wired, then I'll get, I'll, I'll have a chasing day, and we'll just do a load of chasing, yeah? Voila, one big pile of crap, yeah? There's all the old cables. That's the old off-peak. There's some old tails, look. Quite interesting. Aluminium. Double insulated tails. That's an old mineral, I think, did an outside light. Um, so yeah, we're getting stripped. Uh, once we get stripped, we'll, we can start um, lifting floorboards, getting some roots in. So 
So they've converted. Um, where my bloody crop has gone as well, Andy? 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 Where my CK crop has gone from yesterday? My croppers are missing as well. Yeah? My croppers are missing as well. My CK croppers are missing. From yesterday. Picking out. So what I'm saying is they converted this to PME for us, yeah? It was a TT. Um, so I'm just going to connect in this earth. I can get it in through the side there, there we go. And then we don't have to pull the fuse, yeah? It's got one of these little black covers on it, yeah? All we had was brown tail, so we could just take, take one up blue. Um, that's in there, temporary. And then I'll connect these two tails into that switch when Andy's done the fuse board in there first. Voila! It's not pretty, but it does the job, look. Uh, two sockets, light. We used to have a heater, but we got rid of the heater. So now we've just got a light and two sockets. What we're going to do now is go upstairs. The board's going over here. That's going to end up... That is going to end up over in this corner, yeah? So what we're going to have to do is get this main route up. Floorboards run this way, means joists will run this way. So I'll have to get a hatch up here, a hatch up here, all this up through here, all this up through here, all this up through here, and all this up through this bedroom. And then we can sort of get everywhere up and down. Um, yeah, so it's not going too bad. Okie dokie. So what I'm doing first is just multi-tooling a section of flooring out. We've got uh, floorboards, but we've got tongue and groove, yeah? So that means that this, this groove will butt into this groove and likewise. So you can't take one up, okay? So I could cut this and then shuffle them. But all I'm going to get up here is probably two of these for a hatch above the fuse board. We'll then come along here. And this running his saw along this uh, tongue and groove so we can get a groove up all the way, um, get a root up, sorry, all the way through the corridor, yeah? Woo, woo, woo. He, when I put the camera up, he starts working, yeah? So there's our route for our board. We started to get our route up through this corridor. We're going to carry this one on here. And then this is going to be a staircase, but this floor is not going to be changing. So we can, in theory, fish through for the bedroom. Yeah, save the cable length and save drilling too many holes through these joists, yeah? Don't ever drill four inch holes through the joists, yeah? Guys, I just want to take up one minute of your time to show you this awesome app by Prismium. So what we're going to do, we're going to select a value here. We're going to go flat sheathed cable there, 70 degrees, thermoplastic insulation, flat sheathed cable there, which is essentially a twin and earth, okay? We are going to go with a reference method, which is going to be 100 to 103, which is common in any domestic installation. And we're going to go 100, so it's above plasterboard ceiling, covered by less than 100 mil of insulation, okay? for this test. Next, we are going to carry on with the calculation and they're gonna suggest the cable we need there, okay? So excellent tool this, look. Next, we're gonna insert a value here, which is the load. I'm just gonna put in five amps uh, as a sort of a maximum for a lighting circuit, okay? It's just a complete um, random guess. And then we're also gonna insert a value of 50 meters here, okay? We're going to put a required voltage drop in. Going to put 3% in here, okay? And that's going to give us our 6.9 volts, which we're going to drop if we put in 50 metres of that cable, okay? So after we press uh, carry on with the calculation, they're going to give us this lovely, lovely spreadsheet, which you can save as a PDF, and it's got all the information you're ever going to need on there. Also gives you your cross-sectional area of your current rating, which is one mil. And you could also um, up this conductor size to 2.5 if you wanted to. Obviously, we know we're not going to use that on a lighting circuit. You would redesign the circuit to suit the thing. But thanks for checking this out. Excellent tool. This can be downloaded free from the App Store on iOS or Android device. 2%, that ain't good. I've got lots of batteries. So, we're just marking the ceiling. Uh, freaking phone. 
Thank you, Fred. Nice, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. I've got 54 seconds of footage left, and I have to delete some off the SD card. Right, as you can see, we're marking up all the spotlights, okay? We've done a temporary line down this corridor, so we've gone with one, two, three. The client's leaving this up to me. They haven't designed any of this, I'll just do it as I see um, fit, basically. So we're going to go four in that little bathroom, we've gone four in the office. We'll end up with five, six, because it's getting a loft. We don't know what's going to happen with this ceiling, so that can be done after. We'll probably do four in that bathroom, and then we'll probably do six in that bedroom there. So we'll get these drilled out today, and then when James is back tomorrow, we can wire it. Right, we're moving downstairs. We've drilled all the spotlights out, look. So tomorrow's going to be a wiring day. Um, we've got all the spotlights drilled, as I just said. Um, there's a wall coming across here, if you can imagine a wall coming here, look. So that's going to get four spotlights in there. We've done five in the bedroom. Yeah, so as I said, we've drilled all the spots. Um, we'll be back here tomorrow to do some wine, but what we're going to do now is come downstairs and uh, do all of the spotlights downstairs. Okay, so what we're going to do down here is eight spots in this big um, this is a bit like a dining slash living room. So there'll be four that end, four this end. We do them on two switches, okay? Whichever way the door is. And then in this kitchen area, I think we'd probably do the same. We'd do four and four and have them on two switches. It just gives client um, switchability. And then we'll just put one down here. This will get a heat alarm in here because this is gonna be a three story. We'll have to have an optical and an optical here, and then we'll have an optical up in the new loft landing uh, when that's built. So I'll, we'll pre-wire that, leave it cooled up in the loft, and then it can get pushed up when we're um, ready to come back. So we're getting a little bit carried away. Look, we've already wired the downstairs lighting, two way to the back door. Um, that's gonna be outside lighting feed. This is the kitchen switch wires, and it's just poking me a feed down. That's it, mate. That's a switch feed. That'll be a feed on for the hallway light here. And then the feed will drop to here. We'll probably wire these ones tonight as well quickly. Right, there we go. We've we've wired pretty much downstairs light in um, all through the downstairs now. We've got to do a bit of two-way tomorrow to go upstairs, bring the beast down. Um, this one's all wired. So yeah, we've had a good day. Had a good day, Andy. Yeah. It's a good day. Good day. Had a couple of... Good day. Good strip out, and I'll go in the loft tomorrow, and then we can concentrate on power. So we'll see you tomorrow, and tomorrow James will be back. We've got to put a heat alarm in this kitchen. So we've got four spots going to be switched here, four spots going to be switched there, okay? So what I've done is drawn a diamond on the ceiling, um, and it was... As I was saying before, my camera just ran out of um, footage, not footage, the HD card was full. So we've got an X on this ceiling, that's where our heat detector is going to be. We're then going to put an optical out in, the, in there, link with a free core, and then the feed will come from there. We'll either double up the light in because sometimes um, it's good to put it on the lighting circuit so people can't turn the smoke detectors off. Okay, anyway. So we're going to get this one wired, two core and a free core, and then the free core link to the next one for the interlink, yeah? James, you naughty boy. Well, this is the feed for the smoke detectors and the interlinking free core mode, yeah? Is that it, mate, on that one? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Both of those, you've got enough, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. So I can cut this free core off to the, to the, to the kitchen, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, that's it. Give me a little bit more to talk about. Go on. That's it, that's it. So across there, middle of there, that, that's plenty. Have you got a pair of cutters on you? And I'll tie the next one. Oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> Go on. Whoop. That's a crazy camera. Freaking out. I'm going to have to get a bloody head strap, ain't I? Huh? I'm going to have to get a head strap. A head strap? An head strap. Well, let's cut this off. That's plenty to go across there. Have you got some tape on you? Yeah. We'll tape that one on then, and then that'll come to the... Uh... Well, where's it going to go next? It's going to be coming up to here, isn't it? Coming up to the loft next, isn't it? Right, let's go. Have you got that link in yet? What's that? That's going to there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <coughs> then you need a feed from the board to that one. This one links to this one. And then upstairs, yeah? Yeah. 
So we drilled some here, some holes here yesterday and the client had to finish building the wall. But we changed our mind now. Because this wall is staying, we're just going to come up in this wall. And we've got enough zones because we've got to put a shower isolator and a light switch um, on here anyway. So come up in this wall and that'll give us our route to the loft now. This is lifting this board here for me. We're using the technique with the multi-tool. Um, this is going to be the route for the Cat 6s because they're having a new fiber optic put into the downstairs living room. One Cat 6 is going to go to the office. Yeah, it doesn't stand up, does it? <laughs> and one Cat 6 is going to go to the upstairs living room, upstairs bedroom. So carry on, mate. Well done. We're all guns blazing today. Andy is currently wiring. What are you wiring, mate? Two way. Two way up for the lights. And I'm going to go and have another cup of tea. So there's our two Cat 6s. One is going to the office, one is going to the um, loft room. I'll just show you what we're doing with that. We can't actually pull that up to the loft yet. Ah, because they're gonna knock these wardrobes out and this is gonna be a new stud wall for the stairs. So we'll leave it cooled here. And we'll bring it up in the stud wall when it's built. Actually out the oven and he is freaking straight on it, look. He's, he's worse than Andy. What's up? We're not doing any more work, Andy. We're eating shortbread. Go on, you'll be all right. Let's poke it down, mate. How is it, James? Good? Good? Wait, out one to ten? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That's good. That's a banger then, mate. That's a banger. Sweet ass. Right. Well, we've got a nap on there. That's that. And that's the end of the wheel. Yeah. That'll go to that socket then, won't it? Wherever that is. You want to go put... Poke the thingy up. Poke the thingy up, the, um, the cable tongue, yeah? Okay. So our mains cables are growing. Obviously, as we rewire circuits, they grow here. Um, clients just said to me in the future, they're gonna want an EV charger out on this wall. So what I'm gonna do is drop a 10 mil out of this board, literally down here, and we'll end up putting a whisker on the back of that wall for them. And then eventually, when they get a charger, it saves me putting in an armor or something, yeah? So we're gonna do that. This is a kitchen ring. It's quite simple. We've come out the board, dropped to the first socket and run round. You can see them all hanging out everywhere. Uh, and then it runs back to the board. So what we're gonna do now, um, because they're keeping this heat in, look, they've got dual fuel heaters. So they've got an uh, on-off peak and an on-peak. So each heater needs a 2.5 radial to it. And there's one, two, three, was that five? There's gonna be 10 radials just for the heaters in this house. So. This board is going to end up being um, like 20 way and this board will probably get a six way board for the off peak, yeah? So we're now going to wire the sockets in that room and we're going to wire the uh, sockets in the upstairs bedroom. Because I'm the lowest of the food chain. Andy! 
Have you been working here before? Have you worked here before? <laughs> the horn. Have you worked here before? Ha, 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 ha.